All right, an interesting trade has gone down between the Giants and the Mariners. Mitch Hanniger, remember, former Mariner, he's going back to the Mariners from the Giants, as well as Anthony DiSclefani. He's not a former Mariner, but he's going to the Seattle Mariners alongside Hanniger in this deal. Robbie Ray going to the San Francisco Giants. I believe it's like a cash neutral type deal, so it's not like one team is dumping a bunch of salary or anything like that. It's interesting for both sides. I'll get to the Giants here, but first with the Mariners. I mean, this makes sense for the Mariners. I think it makes sense for Mitch Haniger being back where he's comfortable. The Mariners know him. They need some outfield help, a bat. There you go. And then for the Mariners, you can have someone that's healthy and ready to go for the beginning of the year. Someone that can be a starter. Someone that can be a reliever. So if I'm a Seattle Mariner fan, I like that Mitch Haniger is back. Now, I don't follow the Mariners every day like Mariners fans do, so maybe they're not as happy as I would be just sitting as a neutral observer in this, this trade here. Um, maybe they aren't as happy to see Mitch back because they know more about Mitch, um, but it seems like he's going back to a place where he is comfortable. He's had some good moments. His best moments have been as a Seattle Mariner in his career. So hopefully that works out for Mitch Haniger, for the Seattle Mariners and the Giants. When you just look at it as, okay, they're trading away an outfielder, they're trading away an arm who's healthy, they're acquiring a guy who's not going to be ready to go, I don't think, to start the season because he was hurt. Why are you doing this deal? Like, that doesn't make sense. But you know that the Giants, they're trying to spend money, and this deal here, okay, you get a pitcher for a pitcher, and you take an outfielder that was making money off of your roster, what does that mean? It opens up an outfield spot. Cody Bellinger? Maybe. What are the other outfielders out there? Tommy Pham is out there. David Peralta is out there. Eddie Rosario is out there. The big guy is Cody Bellinger. Does this make room? Or I don't know why this would signal them getting Blake Snell. I think that they're in the running for Blake Snell. They should be considered one of the favorites for Blake Snell anyway. Because, like, it's a, it's from what I was reading on MLB Trade Rumors, it is a cash neutral deal. So it's not like this opens up a starting rotation spot for Blake Snell necessarily, because you would think Robbie Ray is going to be in the rotation when he is healthy for this Giants team. But outfield wise, it opens up a spot. And you take Mitch Haniger off of a roster where there was some impact there, but that's not impact that maybe Cody Bellinger would have on this team. So I think that's what Giants fans probably should be looking at here is, okay, so are we going to get Cody Bellinger? Are we going to get Matt Chapman? I know he's not an outfielder, but are we going to get someone like that and still be in it? I, if you're a Giants fan, you should be disappointed this offseason. If you don't land Blake Snell, if you don't land Cody Bellinger, Matt Chapman, at least one of those guys, you should probably be, dis be disappointed. There's guys like Marcus Stroman out there, Jordan Montgomery, but Blake Snell, used to play under Bob Melvin, obviously with the Padres. Matt Chapman used to play under Bob Melvin. Cody Bellinger, he would be the face of the franchise. Giants fans are obviously familiar with him. They might, I don't know, Giants fans, let me know in the comments if you're watching this, do you want Cody Bellinger on your team? Like, because that is a risk, but there's a lot of guys that haven't taken your money. They haven't taken your money in the past. Correa did, but then there was the physical thing, right? But Harper, Stanton, I know some were trades, but Harper, Stanton, uh, Rodon goes to the Yankees. Garrett Cole, I forget if it was them that was in on it. I know the Angels were. Um, Aaron Judge, obviously Arson Judge, right? Like there's a lot of guys that the Giants have tried to go after. Otani was another one, right? Yamamoto, I'm not so sure that they were actually in on Yamamoto really. But big swings and misses on guys. And so if Bellinger can take, is going to take the money, I think Giants fans got to take it and be like, hey, at least we signed a, a guy that's won the MVP before and he's still in his prime. He's coming off of a good season. I don't think the Giants are a playoff team, though. So let me know your thoughts on this deal. There's also another deal involving the Rays, um, where the Mariners, I believe, they're also uh, they're adding an outfielder as well. So some interesting moves. This trade I did not see coming, but it makes sense.